I'm Melissa Brown with Bariatric Keto for Women and lead moderator for the pre-surgery group and it's time for Meal Prep Sunday. So we have several new things for you this week and a few classics. First thing we have is our egg cups. Now we make these every week but we did it a little different this week. We used a popover tin instead of a muffin tin. Um, popover tins are a little bigger and instead of having 12 muffins uh, per tin you have about six. So we use nine eggs for the six cups. Um, so it's one and a half egg per cup. And then it allowed us to have the room to put a little more of the fillings in. So we have a ham, green onion, and cheese. And then we have a spinach, sun-dried tomato, and cheese. So we were able to use like an eighth of a cup of each ingredient, um, which was a little more than what we would be able to fit in a regular muffin tin. And these came out really good. And we'll probably start using the popover tins more. Next thing we have is um, a marinated chicken with Swiss chard. Now I will tell you, this is my Papa's uh, recipe, which I am not allowed to give out, um, unfortunately. So I have a great marinated recipe for you guys that I will give you, um, but the process is pretty much the same. You're gonna make the sauce, cut up the chicken, and let the chicken marinate in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours. Flip the bag over a couple times just to make sure it's good and covered. Um, I cooked these in the air fryer. They're really juicy and full of flavor and turned out really good. Um, and then, you know, I love my Swiss chard, so we made some of that, um, just sauteed it in some olive oil with salt and pepper. Um, next thing we have is our um, soy ginger chicken, which is also marinated. Um, I will post the recipe for the marinade, um, but it's not real complicated. And then some broccoli just made in the air fryer. Again, I use one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of garlic powder, a little Himalayan salt and some black pepper. Just mix that all up in a bowl with the broccoli, pour it out on a tray and cook it in the air fryer for about 15 minutes. It's super simple. Next, we have a mahi-mahi um, stuffed with crab. The crab also has some garlic, some onion, some cream cheese, and some Old Bay seasoning. Um, so we put about a fourth of a cup out on the mahi-mahi and then rolled it up. Um, along with that, we have asparagus, which was cooked in the exact same way as the um, broccoli. Uh, next thing we have is a spaghetti. Now, if you remember last week, we did a cabbage lasagna. Whenever I made that sauce, I made a double batch. I took half of it and I put it in the freezer and I saved it for this week. So this week, all I had to do was take that out and defrost it and then put it up in my servings. Um, we also tried something new this week. It's a hearts of palm pasta. I haven't tasted it yet, but I will be doing a review on it Tuesday. So look out for that. And then the last thing we have is a cabbage bake. This was a recipe that someone in the group posted um, and I changed it up just a little. I'll probably next time try the original recipe because I'm not that crazy about how um, it turned out, but I was trying to decrease the fat. So I took out the half uh, heavy whipping cream and I added egg thinking that that would um, you know, cook and make it more solidified, but it didn't, I mean, it cooked, but it didn't really work out the way I was planning. Um, the other thing was I used the rec recommended amount of Cajun spice, and I feel like this turned out kind of bland. So um, when I do it again, I'm going to follow the instructions with the heavy whipping cream, but I'm probably going to double or even triple the Cajun seasoning. Okay, guys, so let me know what you're making. Um, if you're doing any meal prep for the week, or if you've already decided on your menu for the week, let me know what you're having. Until next time, you guys have a great week. Bye.